certainly do. And listen, Cesc, I want to just talk about obviously one of your former clubs, uh, Arsenal, the, the club. Um, you played with Mikhail Arteta. Um, did he always have it in his makeup? Did you always think, even when you played with him, that eventually he'd become a manager? Well, I think, I think uh, you know, if he he's a uh, he's a guy that uh, he loves football. He he knows what he's doing. He's got a clear idea of where he wants to go. Uh, even now, you know, if you you speak to some of the players, they will tell you that they really enjoy uh, playing under him. That the the trainings are well. That they feel prepared. They know what they're doing. Still, he's a young manager. He was very lucky, and I think he did very well in terms of uh, being next to Pep for I don't know how many years exactly, but it was like a super preparation, you know, for a young coach. I mean, if I could have the chance to do something like that, I think I could grab it without any any question, you know, because it's like doing a master uh, when you are only finishing high school, you know, and uh, it's it's actually interesting. It's, it's a difficult job because uh, it really is, you know, uh, where he caught the club and uh, where the club should be or the, where the aim is that Arsenal should, should be. But, uh, but yeah, I think, uh, you know, Edu and the, the, the board, they believe a lot in him and hopefully they, he can be the man, you know, to, to bring this, this team forward. So I think so. Um, it's something that uh, it's been inside of me for for a long time. Uh, it's something that I would like to try. Uh, people tell me I'm crazy because after you know a long career and so much pressure uh, going into management, that it's, <laughs> it's maybe <lost>. even more <laughs> uh, pressure. <laughs> so so yeah, but it's something that I don't know. I like. I want to to give it a go. I I'm learning. I'm studying i'm listening uh, from a lot of people and you know in football you know the good thing about it is that you always keep learning every day so i'm um, i'm happy about this um just want to touch on a couple of your former teammates i'm talking to management if if the reports are, are believed here in england patrick vieira might be taken over my former club crystal palace do you think he could be a success in the premier league and what what would he bring to crystal palace well, he would definitely change the the way they play or they've been playing for for the last few seasons. And the Roy, I think uh, it was a very direct team. Uh, they used to defend uh, with a low block, uh, four four two straightforward, uh, very typical English football, but very very effective. Um, I think they did very well under under Roy. It was always a difficult place to go. But I think with Patrick and having been here for two years and played against him a few times, it's a little bit completely the opposite idea. Uh, Patrick likes to play football from the back. He likes to take a lot of risks. I think when we used to study his games, uh, we used to always decide to press very, very high because they really were taking risks. He wants to play no matter what. Uh, he has got his ideas, uh, and to be honest, uh, fair play to him. I, I uh, because I'm brave like him, and I think I would love to play a, a certain way similar to him. So he's been doing it since he was at New York. So you know, uh, I'm a fan of him, and uh, hopefully he can he can bring a new style. Why not to to Crystal Palace? Um, I mean, finally, for me, we can't have you here on the boot room without talking about your close friend, Lionel Messi, the king. Um, obviously, I, I mean, I see something the other night. It, it literally paused time in Spain when it was counting down to him being out of contract. What can you see happening to him and how long do you think he can carry on being the main man? Um, I, I don't really know. I don't really know what, uh, what will happen. I, I, I believe and I want to believe that he, he will stay at the club. Um, this is where he belongs. This is where he's been since he joined us. At uh, I think it was I don't know exactly, but he was twelve. I remember that. And uh, I mean, he can be the main man as as long as he wants. I mean, he's got so much quality. He takes care of himself. He's a family man. Uh, he loves the club, uh, loves football. He's got so much passion for it. So I still think he's got a, a few more years. No question. Of course. We all started very young, and the younger you start, normally, the the younger your your body starts uh, paying a little bit for it. But um, as we say, you know, mentally, um, 
he's he's the best as well because he's such a winner. He wants to improve. He wants to get better. He wants to score goals, win every game. So that's what you want from your best player. And uh, definitely, I see him here for for some time. 